by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to use stem effects in virtual dj to achieve something like this only for us girl in the place so hey welcome and welcome back to my channel i am steve from dot sound so to achieve that kind of sound on virtual dj these are the things that you have to do so first of all you have to understand the meaning of stems so we use the stems to separate the songs or the tracks into vocals instrumental bass and then the acapellas so that is the main use of the stems but in this tutorial we shall be learning about the stem effects which is in a layman's understanding it is the effects and the stems all combined together to achieve the sound you've had in the beginning of this tutorial so what do you need to do so that you'll be able to achieve that kind of sound what you have to do is you have to know where the stems are if you don't have stems on virtual dj here you can quickly go to settings and then you go to extensions here and then you can come and search from here stems okay right now i don't have internet connection if i had internet connection you will see that stems will load here so that you'll be able to download it so that is where you can get the stems from you can even go ahead and search for stem effects so that you'll be able to download it so if you already have it downloaded this is what you have to do to get it on virtual dj so i'll head over to the pads section here so on deck a i will head over to the pad section here where you see something like this hot cues uh, there are very many options you can choose from here so for us to get the stem effects click on this drop down arrow here and then go slowly by slowly down until you find an option for stem effects select the stem effects and then you will see changes on this pad page here you will see something like vocals melody beats and others here so that is the stem effects on virtual dj so that is not over there are things that you are going to do so that you'll be able to achieve that sound okay let's head over to deck two and then also activate the stem effects so these are the things you need to do so that you'll be able to achieve that kind of sounds first of all you need to understand stems stems are considered of four main categories like vocals melody beats and even the acapellas so when i want to achieve that sound i just head over to the stem pad page here and then i click on this effects vocal what this will do is it will only affect the vocal of the track or the song so that is the use of this fx vocal so you'll be able to achieve something like this Only for us girl in the place So you have had that so there are more settings you can add on these stems so that we can achieve the exact sound i've shown in the beginning of this tutorial so to achieve it first select the effects vocal here and then head over to this loop out effect here and then besides it you will see this plus button or icon here click on it and then a new page will be opened here so what you will do here is to change some settings so that so that the sound which will be achieved will sound good first of all reduce the length of the effect which is the loop out reduce the effect to one bit and then disable the stop because if you have this on this is what will happen you see that after activating the effect the track or the song will stop after the effect disabling itself you see that so we don't want it to disable itself we want it to be on so that the song will not stop so what you have to do is to disable the stop button here or the stop option here you can leave the rest like the sleep or the video option here so this is what you achieve after disabling the stop option there in the 
So you see that the song or the track will never stop even if the effect disables itself. So that is one way you can achieve that. So there are other things you can achieve using these stem effects. So another thing you can do using these stem effects is this one. You can enable this slip mode here besides the deck here. And then when you play the song, you'll be able to scratch the vocal only. You see that? That will help you to scratch the vocals only. So, the last thing that you are going to do is to set mappings for these stem effects. So, what you have to do is to go to settings and then head over to controllers and then go to advanced editor so these are the settings that i use first of all i use q on the keyboard which is for the effect active one what this will do is it will activate the effect that i want to apply to the stem so it will apply the effect which is the first on the list here and then the second mapping is for the second option, which is loop out there. I use A and then effect active 2. What this will do is it will activate this effect, which is loop out here. And then the third one is Z on the keyboard. So the axon here is effect active 3. It will activate the third effect here. So those are the mappings that you can put on your keyboard so that you'll be able to use the effects straight from your keyboard so that is the basic of stem effects on virtual dj in another tutorial we shall be diving deep into the meaning of stem effects and more more achievable things that we can do using the stem effects so subscribe to this channel so that whenever i drop another tutorial you will not miss it out because the rest of my upcoming tutorials will be very helpful to you this year. So thank you for watching. Watch this tutorial here where you'll be able to separate the vocals or the instrumentals from any track. Or you can be able to extract any part of song that you want on Virtual DJ. So thank you for watching. See you right in.